Welcome back to my channel, Iraqi Dinar. I hope you're all well. May God bring you even more happiness and prosperity. Let's jump into today's update. So there's a lot to unpack. Iraq is making powerful strides with some significant changes that are reshaping its economic land escape. Here's a quote that stands out. The Central Bank of Iraq has decided to reduce the interest rate and activate securities. According to analysts, this strategic move is expected to increase reliance on the Iraqi dinar as a base currency, supported by a new instrument designed to enhance local liquidity. Now, let's break down what a base currency means. In the Forex market, the base currency is the first currency in a currency pair, against which another currency, called the quote currency, is traded. Here, Iraq aims to establish the Iraqi dinar as the base currency and not the US dollar. This shift towards international recognition is massive and should excite investors everywhere. For those looking to invest in Iraq, the country's commitment to stabilizing the dinar is an attractive sign. Iraq's reserves are substantial, with around 150 tons of gold and an additional $5 billion in foreign currency reserves. This strong backing offers a safety net, ensuring the dinar remains resilient even during global market fluctuations. These reserves equip Iraq with the strength to counter speculative attacks and maintain exchange rate stability, giving investors peace of mind. Exciting updates from Intel Guru MN reveal that the Central Bank of Iraq's Delete the Zeros project may accelerate post U.S. elections, likely around November or December. This shift is expected to introduce new lower denomination notes, potentially enabling a one to one exchange rate between the IQD and USD within Iraq. Remember, however, that various factors could impact the timeline. Iraq is also heavily investing in infrastructure. Intel guru Samson reports the completion of initial designs for the Iraqi Development Road project, which aims to modernize the nation's infrastructure and stimulate economic growth. Iraq recently secured $1 billion in foreign investment and signed a $5 billion agreement with Egypt's El Suri Electric to build three industrial cities. These cities will boost industrial and educational infrastructure, creating job opportunities and supporting economic diversification. The Central Bank of Iraq has an extensive checklist to complete before its financial reinstatement gains final approval. Here's what's involved. Secure Banking System Banks are the backbone of Iraq's financial operation, requiring robust security for both digital and physical transactions. Stable Stock Market A secure stock market supports growth and stability essential for both companies and investors. Comprehensive insurance, like building a house without insurance, a country's economy needs insurance to safeguard against unexpected losses. Economic growth, Iraq aims to build a more diversified economy that supports jobs, infrastructure, and public services. The U.S. Treasury and Federal Reserve also play a key role in approving Iraq's financial reset to ensure global market stability. Once all systems are ready, Iraq will have the green light to proceed with full economic reinstatement, setting the stage for international engagement. I'm curious so what do you think is the most challenging part of this entire process? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you found this update helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and stay tuned for the next video as we continue to explore the world of finance and economics. Thanks for watching. Ah. Uh.